Hello, good afternoon and welcome to my blog. My name is Gail and I'm the host of Random Life Productions and this afternoon we're talking about summer essentials. This vlog was inspired by Monica McKilly Cuddy, so thank you Monica for giving me this idea. I'm going to put my own different slant on this because obviously I know Monica is a vlogger, I'm a vlogger but I'm not a beauty channel so this is going to be kind of camera and skin orientated. So first item of course is the sunglasses. A good set of sunglasses is really you know essential. These are my prop sunglasses. I do have a pair of Oakleys that I went I bought in San Francisco about 10 years ago. They cost me $185 but they've lasted me 10 years and they are my go-to glasses and I wear them every single year. My next essential bit of kit is my sun cream. My sun cream was from Tesco's. It's a drugstore or a supermarket brand. It's called Tesco Soliel. It was £3.50. I bought it in December in a sale. It's factor 30. It's got a UVA rating of 5. It's it's not an expensive sun cream. I'm not precious about it. It's got a very good rating. It's a 30. I don't need any more than that. I put this on. And I don't think you need to pour, pay anything more for your sun cream. That's just my opinion. You may think differently. Um, I also, on my skin, I will use this. This is my Nivea Soft Moisturising Cream. I have other, a whole plethora of different moisturising cream. My theory is use this um, you, as long as you've got a moisturising cream on and your skin is moisturised, it doesn't matter. I also use Amber, Amber, Amber Solaire products. I have a couple of bottles of that. I always buy my sun cream off season so I can get a deal. So I use a whole host of different sun creams as I do a whole host of moisturisers. But my view is getting in of putting moisturising cream on every single day. My next essential, of course, is my lip balm. I normally put sun cream on, stick a bit of lip balm on, always good in the summer, awesome sauce. So I just use any lip balm. This one happens to be um, Lip Smacker, which I got in a box when I was flying to America. I got a whole host of these, really nice. This one is a Fanta one. Um, I'm not too pressured about that as well. The other gadget I have, of course, beauty gadget, is my detangler. I like this because you can brush your hair very simply when you're outside, put it together, bish bash bosh, and you have a takeaway hairbrush that doesn't take too much space in your camera bag. So, those are my skincare items which I think are essential to take. I also wear a baseball cap if and when I need to. If it's very, very hot, I do go out with baseball caps. However, I tend not to walk around London in baseball caps for fear that people will laugh at me. Also in my mobile collection, I have, this is essential, I feel, if you're ever, if you're a vlogger, I think you should all, all, all of us should carry these little power banks. One, if you're mobile, if you film on your mobile phone, you've got the right cord, you can charge your mobile phone up in case you run out of battery. It will charge all your little gadgets up. And some of the new cameras that are coming out, like the Canon G76, G7X Mark III, have USB-C charging. So you can charge your new cameras with this. These are quite, these are quite, um, inexpensive you can get them between 20, 10 or 20 um, pounds or dollars but see how many how many times they can charge your phone or what they're suitable for really good buy now the next one when it comes to cameras is say for example I use the Osmo Pocket and I like it and I've got a little Wi-Fi connector that is connected to another connector which has a, a little tripod socket on the bottom but what I use with the Osmo Pocket are UV filters. So they're in this little box here, which is a Polar Pro box. I paid rather a lot of money for these. Uh, these were £40 and they have a little cloth in, which after every clean I do. So I have um, in here an 8 to 16 on a 32. In a very hot day, I will use the 32. You can get higher UV filters than this. You can get them that go up to 64 and that will give you, on a very, very hot day, that will get your camera actually reacting very well but I use these um, Polar Pro ones you can get Skyreek ones for 29 99 I wouldn't go any cheaper than that but these are 
a really good bit of kit, I think in the summertime especially, and especially with the size of the Osmo Pocket, you do need to use, um, you do need to use these filters on, on it. The other useful bit of kit I use is I have this little lavalier mic here. This is a Rode Lav mic. If you're using it in a camera, you have to buy a separate connect, very, very small separate connector from Rode, which is this, and that costs about $10. But if you're using it directly into your cell phone, this is a great little bit of kit because it's small. And if you've got any of these little plastic boxes like this, you can stick it in there and I, what I tend to do as well is my SD cards I put in a little plastic box like that I can throw that into my camera bag and it's very organized and easy the other thing I do use as well um, because I am a um, vintage lens person and most of my uh, vintage lenses are for m42 this is an m42 mount this goes on my mirrorless camera I can adapt my vintage lenses onto that m42 and stick that onto the front of my an adapter and it'll work. So this is a great little bit of kit for my vintage lenses. So this is an, uh, an M42 to um, EOS, and then I just stick that on my EOS adapter for my Canon. Um, the next thing that I use for my cameras as well is I have a whole host of these. These are UV variable um, ND filters for my camera, neutral density filters. They are sunglasses for my camera. In exceptionally hot days, these are really good. Now, the great thing about this is because of variable ND filters, you can spin it and it will give you different different lights. So you can help, it helps, especially when you're filming in sunlight or you want, you can use these filters when you need to have um, a slow shutter speed and you're going up in the temperatures. These are really, really good. And if you get a 10 stop ND, they're normally good for long exposures. But in the summertime, these come in incredibly handy. And I would say don't go too cheap on ND filters because remember you're putting your glass in the front of your camera glass. So what you must remember with ND filters is pay a little bit of money for these. And another top tip, another essential is take a microfiber cloth and clean these lenses. So once you use them, after every time you use your camera, clean the lenses, but they are very, very good. Because I film with vintage lenses, I find that the Viltrox adapter, which a lot of people use, is not the best adapter because it, for some reason, it doesn't like, um, it doesn't like the vintage lenses, it, it, it just doesn't work well with them. So I have this speed booster for my Canon glass, my modern Canon glass, and I have my Canon adapter for my other glass, and the Canon adapter is on this camera this afternoon. The next thing I have in my bit of kit is this. This is my um, camera strap, and I just put my camera here. I, I screw my camera onto here, onto this mount, put it over my shoulder, carry my camera over my shoulder, which I feel is simpler for me. And then if I need to take a picture, I just pull it up like this, take, a, take my camera, I can move my camera. I have some support here as well because I'm using my whole body to support the camera, which is really, really good. So I would highly recommend that one of these is a really good investment. And finally, I found my sunglasses. So these are my sunglasses. These are my Okies. I find they've got good coverage on my face here and over my eyes here. Um, and um, they have a filter in them, a UV filter in them as well. Um, I've had these, as I said earlier, for the last 10 years. And I find that although these are expensive, I would have probably bought 10 pairs of sunglasses. So for me, it's about quality when I when I when I go out and think about sunglasses and then I look after them and they last for a very long time. If you have any suggestions about what you would consider suitable for summer essentials, please list them below. And if you like that video, if you like that video, 
please leave a comment below and if you like this video consider subscribing that would be really appreciated and again thank you Monica McKillicuddy for doing your video because I got inspired to do this one thanks again for watching and I'll see you on another vlog good afternoon